two thousand dollars of all exactly. these hidden fees. Exactly. 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 It's just exactly. Uh, makes it really hard for business to compete. I don't think small business could survive. You know, yeah. like for us, I've been here for forty years, so we're well established. Yeah. Yeah. We have a regular clientele. But anyone who comes in, you know, like. A, uh, you know, if I decide to retire tomorrow, my kids was not supposed to take it over. I'm worried that yeah. if I'd be able to manage it or not. You know what I mean? Here in Ottawa, Bandy, we are launching uh, hy hydrohorrorstories.ca um, to, to make sure that stories like Eli's it can be told in the provincial legislature. Anyone in Ontario uh, who wants to, for me or Lisa to ask a question uh, of, of the Premier uh, about how to justify uh, the unreasonable bills we're seeing, they can log on to hydrohorrorstories.ca and tell us their frustration. Tell us, uh, uh, send us a copy of your bill, which uh, doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense, uh, how it's affecting your business, how it's affecting your family, and we'll get up directly in the legislature uh, and ask that question. Yeah, I like to get out of there, I like to retire, you know, but right now we just, you know, it's, uh, you're just paying your bills and that's about, that's about it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a little kid walking around disguised as a hydro bill. <laughs> that would uh, be the scariest costume for 2016.